Jolan, a young woman from Budapest, decided to visit Ozd. She had always been curious about the smaller towns in her country, and Ozd, with its rich history and current struggles, intrigued her the most. She packed her bags, filled with a sense of adventure and a desire to understand more about her homeland. It was a small town in northeastern Hungary, nestled among rolling hills and dense forests. The town had once been a bustling industrial hub, but now it faced economic challenges and a dwindling population. Jolan had heard stories about its struggles. The factories that once provided jobs had closed, leaving many without work. The streets, once lively, now seemed quieter, and the buildings bore the marks of time and neglect. She wanted to see it for herself. She walked through the town, observing the daily life of its residents, feeling a mix of sadness and hope. She believed that understanding the town's past and present was the first step towards making a difference. What she found there changed her life. The resilience of the people, their stories of perseverance, and their unwavering hope in the face of adversity deeply moved her. In Ozd, Jolan met Peter. Their paths crossed in a small cafe, where Peter worked part-time to support his family. He was a local boy, full of dreams but facing hardship. Peter's family struggled financially, living in a modest home that had seen better days. Despite the challenges, Peter remained hopeful and determined to create a better future for himself and his loved ones. He longed for opportunities that seemed out of reach. He dreamed of furthering his education, finding a stable job, and eventually giving back to his community. Jolan was moved by Peter's story. She saw his potential and the fire in his eyes. She realized that with the right support, Peter could achieve his dreams and inspire others in the town. She also saw the systemic issues holding him back. The lack of resources, opportunities and support systems were evident everywhere she looked. Jolan knew she had to act. She couldn't just walk away after witnessing the struggles and the potential of the people in Ozd. She was determined to help Peter and others like him in Ozd. Jolan began to formulate a plan, reaching out to local organizations, gathering resources and rallying support. She knew that change wouldn't come overnight, but she was committed to making a difference, one step at a time. Ozd, once a thriving industrial centre, had fallen on hard times. The collapse of heavy industry left many jobless and struggling. Poverty and unemployment became widespread. The town's infrastructure suffered. Schools and hospitals lacked resources. Opportunities for young people dwindled. Many felt hopeless, trapped in a cycle of poverty. The situation in Ozd is a symptom of a larger problem. Many rural communities in Hungary face similar challenges. Addressing these issues is crucial for the country's future. Inspired by her encounter with Peter, Jolan took action. She felt a deep sense of responsibility to make a difference in her community. Peter's story was not just a tale of hardship, it was a call to action, a plea for help that Jolan could not ignore. She shared his story and the plight of Ozd with anyone who would listen. Jolan's passion and determination were contagious and soon more people began to take notice. She organized meetings, spoke at local events and used every platform available to spread the word. People were moved by what they heard. The community's response was overwhelming with many expressing a desire to help. The story of Ozd resonated deeply, touching hearts and inspiring action. One person who listened was Bodis Krista, a successful entrepreneur. Krista was known for her philanthropic efforts and her commitment to social causes. 
She saw in Jolan's story an opportunity to make a real difference. She understood the need for change. Krista knew that to create lasting impact, it was essential to address the root causes of the community's struggles. She began to brainstorm solutions and gather resources. Krista founded the Van Haliad Foundation to support communities like Ozt. The Foundation's mission was clear, to provide the tools and resources needed for empowerment and self-sufficiency. Van Helied, meaning you have a place, focuses on empowerment. The Foundation believes that everyone deserves a chance to succeed, regardless of their background or circumstances. The Foundation provides educational resources, job training and community development programs. These initiatives are designed to equip individuals with the skills and knowledge they need to improve their lives and contribute to their communities. Their goal is to break the cycle of poverty and create lasting change. By fostering a sense of belonging and providing tangible support, the Van Helied Foundation aims to transform lives and build stronger, more resilient communities. The Van Helid Foundation believes in a multi-pronged approach. Education is key. They offer after-school programs and scholarships for underprivileged students. Job training is another crucial element. The Foundation partners with local businesses. They provide skills training in high-demand fields. This helps people find sustainable employment. Investing in OSDE's infrastructure is also important. Improving schools, healthcare facilities and public spaces will make the town more attractive to residents and businesses alike. Social workers in OSDE witness the effects of poverty every day. They see families struggling to put food on the table. They see children lacking basic necessities. These dedicated individuals work tirelessly to provide support. They offer counselling, assistance with housing and access to social services. They are a lifeline for many in need. Social workers emphasise the importance of early intervention. Addressing issues like childhood poverty and lack of educational opportunities is crucial for breaking the cycle of disadvantage. Section 6 Government action, a necessary step. While the efforts of organizations like Van Helied are commendable, government support is essential. Policymakers must prioritize investment in struggling communities. This includes providing adequate funding for education, healthcare, and social services. Creating incentives for businesses to invest in these areas is also crucial. The government has a responsibility to ensure that all citizens have equal opportunities. Addressing regional disparities and tackling poverty is essential for a just and equitable society. Section 7 Breaking the Cycle Long-Term Solutions Addressing the root causes of poverty requires a long-term vision. This includes investing in early childhood education and providing quality healthcare for all. Creating a more equitable education system is paramount. All children, regardless of their background, should have access to quality education and opportunities for personal growth. Empowering individuals with the skills and resources they need to succeed is crucial. This includes providing access to affordable housing, job training and financial literacy programs. Section 8. Lessons for Hungary. A call to action. The situation in Ozd is a wake-up call for Hungary. It highlights the urgent need to address regional disparities and tackle poverty. The country must invest in its people, particularly in struggling communities. This requires a collective effort from the government, businesses and civil society. By working together, Hungary can create a brighter future for all its citizens. A future where everyone has the opportunity to reach their full potential, regardless of their zip code. Section 9. A Brighter Future. Hope for Ozd. This is a story of resilience. 
community spirit, and the unwavering belief that together we can overcome any obstacle. Despite the challenges, there is hope for Oosdu. The town has faced numerous hardships, but the spirit of its people remains unbroken. Families gather in parks, children play joyfully, and community events bring everyone together, fostering a sense of unity and belonging.